So you're ready to start sewing your first dress, but you're not sure what pattern to use. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you four easy dress patterns you can get started with. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video about sewing your own clothes and other small projects. So the first beginner dress pattern that is a great one for new sewers is in this pattern here, which is McCall's number 7635. In this pattern, it comes with pants, a shirt, and a jacket, but it also comes with this awesome shift dress. I made this in two versions. I made it in this long sleeve version, and then I also made it in a short sleeve version. I love them both. It's a really, really comfortable dress. It was really easy to sew, which is why I made two of them, but it's just a really wonderful fit, and I love it a lot. Another great beginner dress pattern is the Willow Tank Dress by Grainline Studio. This pattern comes with the tank top version and the dress version. And for my dress, I made it out of a quilting cotton because quilting cotton is really easy to work with. And this was actually one of the first dresses that I made. I love how simple it was to sew. You can just put it over your head when you're done because you don't need a zipper or a button. And I just love this dress. Another really great dress pattern is the Faro dress, which is by Grainline Studio as well. This dress is considered to be an advanced beginner pattern, but it's so wonderful to sew because the instructions are really great. For my pattern, I did short sleeves, and because this dress is more flowy, just the way that it looks on me, I decided to sew up a belt but you absolutely don't have to sew the belt. You can just wear it as is, so it really is whatever you prefer. I love this pattern, and if you give it a go, I hope you love it too. The final dress pattern I'm going to show you in this video is the Florite dress by Megan Nielsen. And something really awesome about this pattern is that it comes with two versions. You can either make it in a knit fabric or a woven fabric. For my two versions, I made them both in knit fabric. So for this first version that I made, it is longer because I'm tall, I decided to extend the length and I absolutely love it. For the shorter version, I made a tunic version because I didn't have enough fabric to make it longer, but I still love the way it turned out. For this version, I didn't do pockets. And I also didn't do a belt just because of the length of the dress, but that just shows how easy this pattern is to modify and to make look great on your body. That's it. Those are the four dress patterns I recommend to any new sewer who's hoping to make their own clothes. If you're curious about any of the fabrics I used to make those patterns, I've actually put them in the description box below for you. And please leave me any comments about the types of fabric you should use and I'd be happy to help. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell and I'll see you in the next video.